here we are in Bishop, California, at high altitude. We're here to do a real exhaust braking test. Right, Rick? You know, Silverado's a proven winner on acceleration and passing. That's kind of like the offense of a good heavy-duty truck, right? The defense, the braking system. I like it. I thought you might. We're here in the mountains. We've got big trailers with big loads behind them. Yeah. We're going to see just how well the exhaust braking systems on these trucks work. Now, the exhaust braking system, is that like a Jake brake on a semi? Yeah, it's a lot like I'm that. I'm kind of shocked I knew that. I'm kind of shocked. So am I. Let's go inside. I'll tell you a little more. All right. Howie, an effective exhaust brake keeps your rig at or below a desired speed while you're descending a grade. Kind of important. Very important. Yeah. Silverado HD's got a couple of systems that work together to help do this. Tow haul mode and automatic grade braking uh, system that's in the transmission. It's kind of an algorithm. Right. They work together to keep you from starting to run away downhill. But what's really new here is an exhaust brake system that uses back pressure through the Duramax diesel system to hold you back. It's kind of like a, um, a turbocharger working in reverse. Wow. Yeah, works real well. That's a lot of rock, George. What do you got going on? Well, each truck will be hauling a trailer weighing 16 and a half thousand pounds. We'll be going down a 7% grade at an approximate altitude of 6,000 feet. We're going to start the test by each truck going exactly 50 miles per hour, and then we'll set the exhaust brakes and see what happens after we travel 2,000 feet down the grade. An effective exhaust brake should keep the trucks from accelerating downhill. So 16,500 pounds down that kind of a decline at this altitude. You're going to tell me that's going to work. You're confident. 16,500 is a lot, Howie. But remember, Silverado HD is rated all the way up to 21,700 pounds as a max. So I say we ought to give this thing a roll. All right, are you nervous? No, but you're going for a ride. Oh, I'm going for a ride. You're going for a ride. All I'm right. not nervous at all. I'm trusting you, George. <laughs> OK, gentlemen, side by side position, 50 miles per hour. Tow haul mode engaged. Exhaust brake engaged, Chevy Silverado. Prepare to downshift, my start mark. Three, two, one, braking. Ford seems to be picking up speed. Ford's just walking away from us. Obviously, their uh, exhaust brake is not working as well. And this is not the race you want to win. At the end of the run, the Chevrolet Silverado HD's exhaust brake did a fine job, nearing 44 miles per hour. The Ford F-350's exhaust brake was not able to hold the uh, trailer and rig to 50 miles an hour. In fact, it accelerated to 56 miles per hour. Huh? Silverado HD was great. Yeah. What happened to the Ford? I can't really explain why the Ford exhaust brake doesn't get the job done in this test. I just know that it doesn't. But when an exhaust brake does work well, like it did on the Silverado, the driver doesn't have to pump the brakes as much going down the hill. It really saves a lot of wear and tear on the service brakes, for sure. And on the driver, you're a lot more confident, you feel safe, particularly pulling that kind of load going down a hill. Yeah, you know, whenever we work on a new Silverado, we got some clear vision on this thing, right? Strong, capable, safe and secure, long lasting. It's a kind of a truck that you can count on in pretty much any situation, right? It's really all we want in a truck. Rick, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Hey, all right. You and me or you and Silverado? Let's go. All right. <laughs>